This is Gary Nugent and welcome to this video where I'll show you just how easy it is to build a site with Site Builder Elite. This is Site Builder Elite's control panel where you'll set various parameters for the site. The demo site I'm going to create is going to be about hamsters. So I set the site name to be all about hamsters. I'll add a site tagline which will just be a simple explanation of the site. So learn more about the furry little rodents. I'm going to align my site title to the left of the page. I'll choose a rounded rectangle to appear at the top of each page. And I'll set the color of that to orange. Now I need to enter a keyword that my whole site runs off and in this case it's going to be hamsters. This option is an important one. It's ticked by default and what it does is download articles to your site using the keyword list you provide to uh, Site Build Elite. I'm going to leave everything else exactly as is. Scroll to the bottom and the last thing I need to do is to put in some site security information but in this video you're not going to see that. The last thing I do is click the update site configuration button so all the site setting changes are saved. So that's the first stage done. Each site needs a list of keywords around which to build pages. I'm going to use the free keyword suggestion tool at Word Tracker and the web address for that is freekeywords.wordtracker.com So my keyword is hamsters. I do the search and here is the list of keywords returned along with the number of searches each month. The only thing we need for Site Builder Elite are the keywords themselves, so we have to use a bit of jiggery pokery to extract them from this information because Word Tracker doesn't give a way of extracting only the keywords. So, a quick way is to highlight all of the keywords and all the other information and copy it, then paste it into Notepad. Control A to select everything, Control C to copy, and <clears throat> now we need to paste it into Excel. So that gives us three columns. We take the center column and copy it, and paste it back into Notepad, overwriting what was there before. And as you can see, we still have this search in brackets that we need to get rid of. So we highlight the space and the search at the end of the first line, copy it. Um, do a find, sorry, a replace. So we paste in the search uh, string we copied, leave replace with blank and replace all. And there's our full keyword list. Now press Control A to select all the keywords and Control C to copy them. Return to the Site Builder Elite keyword screen. Press Control V to paste in the keywords and click the Save Keywords button, which is just off the bottom of your screen, uh, to save the keywords. So now we're ready to build the site. So I click the Build Site link, and here we are, the site has been built. And articles are being fetched for the site. All of this is happening in, in real time. Uh, 
articles are being downloaded from an article directory, so it'll take a little bit of time for all of those to come down. And in this demo, it's trying to download about 110 articles. As you can see, not every keyword will actually produce an article. So it's actually finished now. So let me uh, move the window down so you can see that. Okay, so uh, let's look at the site. And to do that, I click the Your Site link on the page. That link takes us to the sitemap page on the site. So let's take a look at the home page. So here we are. There's an article about hamsters. Beneath which are uh, some questions and answers from Yahoo Answers. And then below that there is some RSS feeds. And um, you'll get a different selection of content from RSS each time the page is loaded. So looking at some of the other pages on the site, you see there's an article different from on the previous page. Again followed by more content from Yahoo Answers and RSS feeds. So each page has unique content. Clicking any of these Get the Answers links will open Yahoo Answers in a separate page. And you'll see the question and any answers for it. Now I want to add some ads to my page. So I return to the configuration screen. And I need to enable the primary ad network. So I click on this link. And this takes me to the primary ad network settings. Currently set to none, but the obvious choice is Google AdSense. And so <clears throat> down here, I paste in my AdSense publisher ID. And I will select, I'll leave it at layout 1 and at text ads only. And scroll to the bottom, update the site configuration, return to the site, and refresh the page. And here we are, we already have Google AdSense on the site. Now I want to add some products from Amazon onto the site. So I return to the site configuration screen and click on the Amazon Quick Link to take me to the Amazon Settings section. And in here, I need to put my Amazon access keys. Uh, if you're an Amazon affiliate, you'll know all about those. I need to enable the Show Amazon Products option. And I need to put in my Amazon US ID. I'm not going to show you my access keys here. And so, scroll to the bottom. And again, update the site configuration screen. Now back to the website. Uh, let's look at the home page and scroll down and here we have some products from Amazon. So it's that simple. In order to show off the Amazon products uh, better, I think I'd prefer this to be a three column site. So I scroll down and select three columns. And I will do this as having the left column as the navigation bar, the center column as the content, and the right column as the uh, Amazon products. Um, scroll to the bottom and update the site configuration. 
back to the site and refresh it. And so here we have a mixture of Amazon ads and Google ads. In the Amazon settings section, there's an option that allows you to change the product categories from which Amazon products are drawn. So you can change these to whatever ones uh, suit the products you're interested in. Looking at other options for configuring your site, there's this one, use your links in articles which allows you to hyperlink phrases in articles with your affiliate links. You can also add a contact page, put in your email address. This is just a, a dummy email address. Add a video wall into your page. This will appear below your article. And include comments which will allow readers to leave comments on your site. Include a page translation widget which gives visitors the option of translating your pages into foreign languages so you can reach an international audience. And the Google Web Master Tools meta tag allows you to get your site verified by Google. Simply paste the meta tag in there. And you can automatically submit your sitemap to the four main search engines. That would be Google, Yahoo, MSN and Ask. Now I update the site with those new settings. And return to the website and refresh the page. So. Here's the translation widget. And here's the video wall with hamster related videos. A section for entering comments. And if we take a look here, let's translate this into French. Here's our page, our article in French.